What if we told you, that you have had her account opened up in your name with untold amounts of money in it at birth? An account, the bankers know all about but kept from you? An account that if you knew how to access, could get you out of debt? Or more? There is such an account and every human being has one. It's called a Treasury Direct Account or TDA. We know what you're thinking, this is a scam. No we are not scamming you or pulling your chain, the following information is verifiable on the Federal Reserve's own website. We will provide links in the description. So then, a brief description of what these Treasury Direct Accounts, TDA, are, they are repositories of property being held in trust, for you. A factualized trust self-secured created on the day of birth for each being on the planet. The ones that are being accessed right now are called US Treasury Direct Accounts. There are so many accounts all around the planet with your name on it, you would be staggered, not all of them are ever seen. There is state level, federal level, international level. All these districts. In the old days, someone might find one of these accounts, like a state level one and there would be like 300-400 million in it and the PTW bankers, would say take it and go, sign this and never come back. The bankers would laugh because there would be billions of dollars left behind and that person would never know about their billions. Everything on the planet was put into one big trust. This is all the property held in the trust. This property is a conversion of you. Your value, converted into property and held in these accounts. It used to all be held in one large account, all embodiments conversion of value on the planet being held in one large trust. Everything got moved out of that trust and into each and everyone's own factualized trust which was PR existing to the actual large trust the PTW used to hold everything in. They are actually called factualized trusts, they are factualized, created on the day of birth. They are yours. You just did not know it. The PTW have been using them all of this time, now they cannot. Actually they have not been able to use since the OPPT closed the one big trust. For those who want to refresh your memory or look into the OPPT for the first we suggest you go research. These treasury direct accounts are tied to your social security account your factualized trust account. The social security card is basically an ATM card, your ATM card, without the magnetic strip. Expected is connected to an unlimited account smile the word picture I would paint to describe the amount of money in your treasury direct account is to think of it as a non-depletion account. Example you draw out $500,000 and if you checked the balance it would be $500,000. So, it's time you start accessing what's yours. What the elite bankers don't want you to know about. This video will most likely be pulled and we are running the risk of having this channel shut down, so we suggest you download it. Again, this is your money. It has your name on it, it's accessed with your social security number. So now we will begin the process of showing you how to access your money. 1. Get your social security card. 2. Look on the back for red letter and number or black letter and numb, mine was red. The red or black letter is what you want, in US, may be different internationally, the letter corresponds to the district branch for the Federal Reserve Branch, FRB, your TDA is linked through. Look up branch on the charts here. 3. Three, find the section that corresponds to your letter. Go to this site www.usebanklocations.com web link. You can either type in the routing number or the bank name or FRB and the main city. It will look something like this when you click on the routing number that gets returned in a broader search. This is an example of a FRB routing number screen. 
Notice the first highlight with a T this should say Fed ACH if it is a valid routing number for setting up a funds transfer. Like when you link an outside bank account to an existing bank account of yours to transfer money back and forth etc. Or if you go to a vendor like a utility and want to pay your bill using a bank account of yours as the funding source. If it does not say that then you will need to suss out a different routing number for your letter region. Notice the second highlight with a W. If you want to wire funds to pay for something, like a car, real estate, or anything else that you would wire funds to, the routing number you have selected needs to provide this information. Notice it's different than the ACH. This is the additional information you will need to supply when completing a wire transfer to complete a transaction. The third highlight is the date the record was updated. 4. Now you are ready to start to utilize your TDA account. 5. Pick a place to start and use the routing number that is correct for you and correct for the kind of transaction you want to complete. Your social security number no dashes is your account number. Note when filling in a routing number, some forms cap you at 9 digits. If you have too many drop the zero from the end of the routing number. 6. You would select checking from the drop down menu. When entering information about the account you use your name that is on your social security card as the account holder's name. You use the FRB branch address as the billing address. Use your phone hash as the phone. Updates to routing numbers. The capital letter refers to the district FRB and will match the letter on back of your SS card. Be just successfully used 02100128 to pay my car insurance. The only time that number has not worked was for my purported student loan. In that instance I used 02105466. E the Richmond ACH routing number that worked for me for a Wells Fargo credit card, routing number 05105033. When I plug that in, the bank and address autofilled. EFRB Richmond routing number 05105009 If you are not having success with 05100033, sometimes there are branch federal reserves like the one in Denver. Its mother is the Federal Reserve in Kansas City. Always use the main reserve routing number, not the branch, as the main holds your accounts. Anyone having trouble accessing or being blocked in any way, ask your bank for the reason code. We recommend just using this to get out of debt. The elite is planning to use this as a carrot to dangle in front of you, in order to possibly get you to agree to the implantation of RFID chips, giving them complete control over your buying, selling and banking business. A chip they can remotely turn off when you don't play by the rules. It's time to show them the scam is up and you want what's yours. That you are not a slave. At the same time, we need to voice our message of ending the Federal Reserve System and getting the government and the government alone, to print and issue into circulation interest-free currency backed by precious metals etc., thus circumventing the Federal Reserve issuing currency to our government at interest and thus enslaving all people. We can change the world. We are the real revolution. We are anonymous. We are legion. We can forgive but we will never forget. Expect us.